chapter 2 and 2 chronicles chapter 20 verse 30 and 34 uh, all these are missing oh, these books where are they where are they also in new old testament new testament <laughs> new testament some verses are missing some verses are missing in the quran as well no no quran show me i will accept it no wait 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 accept the challenge no accept the challenge i'm confused now. he doesn't have any religion but he said jesus is a prophet okay how did you come to know jesus is a prophet Huh? How did you come to know well, Jesus is a prophet? Scripture. What are scriptures? Mate, you click. Uh, why? No, what are scriptures? You're a Muslim, right? No, where did you get from that they information? Follow, they follow the Quran, they follow the Bible. No, right? you're not getting the point. I'm a Muslim. He's a Christian. He's, he, he believes in the Bible, yes? Yes? You, so, you, 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 okay, I believe in the Quran. I'm a Muslim. He is a Christian. He believes in the maybe, New Testament. Maybe, maybe, so, so, no, I'm asking him. Yeah, you believe, you believe Jesus is a Muslim. How did you know he's a prophet? Because he was sent by God. He's an any anointed But where did you get from? Any anointed one is sent by God. But how did you know then? Because everyone worships him and follows no, him. No, where did you get from that information? I want you to tell me. Choose a book. Because uh, only book says books that, that Jesus is a prophet, yes? All the books say that. What book then? All the books. Choose one. Uh, the New Testament, the, the Quran, they all say it. Okay, what, which book say, do you believe out of all these three? Uh, New Testament, Old Testament, or Quran? You have to believe in all of them. How? Because they're all linked together. The How are they linked Old together? The New Testament was handwritten by Moses. No, no, wait, wait. The New Testament. Wait, 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 wait. The New, wait, wait. The New Testament has has actual divine words from God, and the Quran. Old has, Testament, you mean? No, the Old Testament is is ha completely handwritten by Moses. The whole thing. A New Testament. I believe in the Old Testament is the Torah. I believe in the whole Torah. No, no, New Testament. The, the New Testament. The, yes. a, a lot of it. I believe a lot of it is is divine words from God. From God. Jesus. Like what words? Tell I me. I believe that. No, uh, like anything that's good. So anything that's good. Anything that's good. Anything that's good. In the, like what is good? Tell me. Okay, what's good? Tell me. Anything According to you, what's good? Anything that doesn't cause problems. Uh, well, like what problem? Like, uh, like uh, Jesus telling you to, to love thy neighbor. Uh, like uh, like the second commandment, right? And, and Jesus telling everyone to love each other. Like run through love. That's it. That's, 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 that's love one another. According to love one. Who? Love who? Be specific. Love. love who? Uh, Did love, Jesus say love the love enemy? Thy neighbor. Neighbor or the enemy? Thy neighbor. The neighbor. Yeah, the neighbor. Yeah, yeah. All, all descendants of Abraham. The neighbor. Yeah. So are you saying Jesus said love the neighbor? Yeah. What verse? Love thy neighbor. I know that verse. Yeah. So do you believe where Jesus? Uh, Second commandment. Okay. Do you believe where Jesus said, if someone comes to you, and preach different gospel than this one, he said, do not take them to your house, and do not welcome them. Is that love? Uh. uh Is that love, please? No. The, uh, uh, the, uh, John. One John. Yeah. 1 John, 1 John, 2 and 1 John, 1 John, 2, 10. One thing, I never said the whole thing, everything there is love. I said everything that represents love is godly. Say again? Anything that represents God, yes. anything that represents love is godly. And in the Old Testament, in the New, in the New Testament, that's what I was talking about. So, okay. And, so, and the Quran, basically, okay. Jesus is a Messiah. Okay, the Quran says, Jesus, Allah said in the Quran, Jesus is not God. But the Christians say Jesus is God. They're, they're, they use the Bible, listen, is that correct? I do not believe Jesus is God, I can explain it. Why? Jesus was never. God okay, what religion do you practice? Tell me. What religion do you practice? Religion of God. What religion? Islam. The religion of God. Islam, Christianity. They're Jew. all religions of God. They're all. No, they all no. Believe in Abraham. No, no. In Islam, we don't have like that. You yeah, either be a Muslim. That's a cult. No, no. You either be a Muslim. Yeah. Every religion believes this. Christianity believes. That's separation. Only Christians will You're go to heaven. The children of Abraham. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. Of Abraham, How did you get? How did you get this permission? Does the Bible say that? Do you know Judaism? They believe only Jews will go to heaven. No, they all have one thing in common. Hey, they use their they own they Bible. They use their own Bible, Old Testament. So, are you believing the Old Testament? If yes, so you have to believe Jews believe only Jews will go to heaven. If you are quoting yeah, from because, New Testament, Christians who, believe only Christian will go to heaven. Yeah, a Jew, a Jew. Muslims believe only Muslims will go to heaven. Who, so, which one? Which what book lies? Anyone who rejects Jesus is not a Jew. Okay, now let me ask you. You're not a Jew. Wait, let me ask you the one Jew thing. Now, let me ask you one thing. If I say one plus one is two, and another yeah. one says one plus one is three, and another yeah. one one plus one is four, are we all right? No, everyone's wrong. One of them. The problem is the Jews, the Christians. Do the you know when? When? Are all two you know? Plus two plus you know? Five. What is the meaning of debate? Yeah, debate. It's debate. Debate. That means always yeah. one of one of us is right and the other one is wrong. Do you know? Do you know that? No, but the debates always. End up? Do you know debate? Yeah, I know debate, but like, do they always actually end up with someone winning? So now, do you believe they Jesus never. died? No, Jesus died? That I couldn't care about. I care that there's one. No, God. do you believe he died? He died? 
Yes. I, I believe he could die. Do you believe now you will go to heaven? I believe he possibly No. Died. Do you believe now you will go to heaven if you die in this way? If I die, if I, yes. will I go to heaven? Yes. That is unknown. Unknown. Only God knows that. But you said you, you learned it from the books. But I, According to the books, those ones you read. Those ones you read. Yeah. The books. Are you going I've to heaven? If you, read, if you read the books, read the Are you going to heaven? Uh, if you if I you the now, pass on. Right now? If you die in this way, no, are you going to heaven? If you, if you believe you know if you're going to heaven or not. So anyway. now, so that means you don't believe in those books because those books says only the the people who practice is in, in that faith and yes. its faith will go to heaven. Exactly. So so you're against the books you then? You're using the your faith. logic. No, but if you practice in the faith, like when does the okay, book actually tell me, exactly what you Okay, okay what's the difference Christianity and, and Muslims? Uh, Christianity and Muslims, there's only one, one major thing. They believe uh, that Jesus is God. That's it. That's the main biggest difference. Okay. So Muslims believe Jesus is not God, and, and Christianity believe, yeah. and Christianity believe Jesus. Tr some of them, God. Trinitarians, not all of them, they believe Jesus is God. So who is yeah. who is right according to you? Uh, Muslims believe. So Muslim is right. Yeah, he's not God. My, my opinion. Uh, so you believe in what Allah said in the Quran? Then he's not God. No, I believe in the Quran. That's what I'm saying. You believe in the Quran? Listen, Christians you believe in Prophet are, are Muhammad? Not following the Bible. Do, do you believe in Prophet Muhammad? <laughs> Huh? Do you believe in Prophet Muhammad? Of course I do. So you believe he's the final prophet? 100% I do. I, he's the final prophet and there's the Messiah that will come. Okay, do you believe whatever goes against the teaching of Quran and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad is false? Um, depends. I, 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 it surely does depend. Because like all the main, main things for humanity, all messages for humanity, the, the, the Quran was set for humanity. Yes. If anything breaks any law that's in the Quran, yes. it's against God. I believe that, yes. So basically, you believe Quran more than other books? Uh, it's the only straightforward book besides the Torah. Okay, but Torah, but Jews, Jews, Torah, do you know, Jews do not believe the Prophet Muhammad. Are they right? No, the Jews, listen. Are they right? The Jews are not. They're, they're, they, they betrayed God's covenant. Even in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse number 29, Moses says that he knows that after his death, they will betray his covenant. I do not put Jews in the position. Jews, are, Jews only exist for a purpose of, of fulfilling God's covenant. Jesus, Jesus never finished his job. That's why he's alive. Jesus will come back and finish his job. The reason why everyone's here and debating is because G Jesus never finished his job. He will return and everyone will follow him. So basically, whatever the Quran says, you believe it. Yes, I do. 100%. No. 100%? I, 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 I won't put 100%. I won't put 100%. You can't. You can't no, what would you think? No. What, what book would you rate out of all those? I read the books and. Anything what? that makes sense, I Which one it. do you read? Uh, I, read the, I read some of the... No, books. which one do you prefer out of all I, those I books? 100%. But I prefer most... The Quran makes... The Quran is the, the most recent one and, and it makes the most amount of sense from what I've read. Okay. What, did so you with, ever with practice Islam, any religion before? Uh, I practiced some Christianity and some, um, some Islam. So, how? The problem is that once you start practicing it physically, Okay, what just, makes you? Just, okay, just, what just makes you? Apart. Okay, what makes you believe Christianity at the same time Muslims, Islam? Um, the fact that they all don't reject Jesus Christ. Who? Jesus was the Messiah. There's a difference between a prophet and a Messiah. Okay, Messiah, no, no, just that difference. No, we have difference. many. We have many things. Yeah. Different. Exactly. Like um, the, new, the Christians believe Jesus was cursed because of them. He was cursed. Yeah, he was cursed by God, same as Satan. Yeah. And they believe he's an ungodly one. He's, yeah, he told me about this. He yeah. Do you believe that one? Uh, In Galatians I, I, I chapter mean, 3 verse 13, Deuteronomy he's, chapter 21 verse 23. About God is of him. Uh, he's holy. He's a holy person. He's not an evil person. Whatever that, if that's said, that's a lie. Uh, Jesus, Jesus is not a holy person. So, okay, now, uh, what stops you practicing Islam? Um, After you said that you believe what the Quran says. I, I mean, the Quran is fundamental. The way Islam is being practiced is through hadith, not through the Quran. Like, like the way Islam is being practiced is, is, a, is being practiced in a, in a surface level way. What and do you mean? In a way that makes you forget about the, the, the Quran and, like, no. and its fundamental message. No. Do you know who is the teacher of the Quran? Of Islam? Uh, According to Quran itself. Prophet Muhammad. So Allah said in the Quran, the teacher of the in Islam and Quran is Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, the teacher. Do you know that? So yes? The teacher, yeah. Yes, he's the teacher. Is he the teacher or is so, God the teacher? So, okay. No. Prophet Muhammad was taught. Who is the teacher of the teacher? Of course, Allah is our teacher. That's what I'm saying. Then Allah entrusted Angel Jibril, and Angel Jibril taught the Quran, the Prophet, and Islam. And yeah. then Prophet, his job, his role was to convey the message. Yeah. The message of God. So now, without the teaching of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 
we will not understand the Quran. We will not understand Islam. Because Islam is a way of life, not just saying worship Allah. Yeah. It tells us in terms of business, in terms of engagement, marriage, in terms of divorce, in terms of yeah, in I terms of business. All, and, all, like and, usury, all that stuff. It's all mentioned in there's lots of things. It's all mentioned. All, all the major sins they're mentioned. I'm talking about the way of life, the way you live, the, yes, like, the Islam. way you dress, the way you yeah, act Yeah, it pray. says everything. That, that's not mentioned in the Quran, the, the way you act. The no, way you do you know, because it's part of Islamic teaching. Yeah, Islamic teaching. Yes. So, no, so Allah himself in the Quran, he said, we have revealed, he said to the Prophet yeah. in chapter 16, verse 44, Oh Muhammad, indeed we have revealed this revelation unto you, so you may explain to people what's revealed for them, upon for them. Yeah. So this verse is telling us hmm? Prophet is the teacher, Prophet Muhammad is the teacher of the Quran. He's telling us about Islam. He's teaching us yeah. what's good for us and what's bad for us through inspiration, revelation. Yeah. So now what stops you practice Islam? Have you ever prayed in your life? I prayed, yeah. I know how to pray. I, I know I know about all this, but problem is when you're praying, do you actually have the purpose? Do you know? Okay, you what does Islam say? Do you know Islam? Do you know in Islam? Do you know in Islam? Allah said in the Quran, if you are to believe the Quran, Allah said that in the Quran, in chapter 2, all oh, you the believers enter Islam fully, not half half. <laughs> I know that, yeah. So you say, I'm half Christian and I'm half Muslim. Yeah. We don't accept in Islam like that. It's not a race, Islam. It's not a, an, a, an, an ethnicity. Yeah. An ethnicity. You can't say I'm half, we can say I'm half English and I'm half an Jamaican or I'm half an Arab or whatever. But in Islam, you either accept Islam fully or you leave Islam. You can't take part of Islam and practice part of Chris, part, uh, Christianity, part of Christianity. But you already are practicing part of Christianity. You no, do I don't drink? practice. No, I don't practice Christianity. No, no, do you drink alcohol? Christianity drink alcohol. Yeah, well, they're not following. Because no, in the Bible, they say Jesus drank alcohol. But the alcohol, their the, wine, ancient wine, had nearly zero percent alcohol. It's the first thing, ancient wine has nearly zero percent alcohol. Right now, they boost the alcohol in consumption. You know, that's what they do. The, the amount, amount of alcohol in the drink, they boosted that. Anyways, now, what stops you from practicing Islam fully, complete? Uh, I believe the Quran is the is the fundamental source of knowledge for humanity sent, sent by God through Muhammad. Okay. And the way and who are your part? through hadith, right? No, yeah. through hadith. Through hadith mainly. No. Mainly. You are you getting the dressed, point? The Look. They got they got to tell you how to. Pray. Do you know? Do you know who, who approved the Quran and hadith, the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, in the Quran? Allah approved it. Wait. wait. Yes. No, he approved it. What did he say? Yes. Allah said in the Quran, He is the teacher of the Quran. So how can of we understand Quran. of Islam? Of Islam, yeah. Yes. Islam so how can we understand? Quran. Based on the Quran and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, Allah said in the Quran, not me saying. Teaching the Prophet Muhammad, yeah. Yes, so Allah said yeah. to the Prophet's wives in the Quran, chapter 33, yeah. verse 34. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Allah said to his wives, He's saying to the Prophet's wives, Remember, so you can teach others what is being recited, the verses of Allah and yeah. the wisdom. The verses of Allah is the Kitab, the Quran. And the will hikmah, hikmah here is the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Okay. So because that's what Aisha and the Prophet's wives are telling us what Prophet used to do <laughs> in his life. That makes sense. Yeah. But let's say you only follow the Quran and you reject the hadith in case there's any disruptancy. No, if you, if, you follow, years. if you follow... Does that only, not make you a believer of God? Yes. It does not. Disbeliever. You become a disbeliever. Do you know why? Why? Because Allah said, whenever we dispute a matter, we go back to the Quran and the teaching of Prophet. So how can we go to the teaching of Prophet? Because the teaching of Prophet is not in the Quran. Teaching of Prophet is not the Quran. It yeah. not, it's not in the Quran. It's the not. teaching, the teaching of Prophet. Yeah. The teaching so don't. Allah said, whenever we dispute about a matter in chapter 4 verse 59, Allah said, whenever we dispute about a matter, we go where? To, to the Quran and the teaching. And the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Okay. okay. If the Quran would be, uh, if the Quran only itself, we go back to the Quran. Why? That, what's the point of Allah mentioning? about the Prophet, because already Quran is talking about everything. That's why Allah approved the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. So what's the point of me going to the teaching of Prophet Muhammad? How can I go to the teaching of Prophet Muhammad? Hadith. If when we dispute, we go to the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. No. Therefore, Allah himself approved the teaching of the Quran, um, the teaching he, of Prophet Muhammad. Of the prophet, but did he make it 
if it was obligatory, if it was obligatory, it's obligatory, yes. Yes, it's obligatory. Where did it say it's obligatory? Yes, Follow Allah exact said, exact yes, teaching. Allah said in the Quran, Allah said in the Quran, whoever disobeys the Prophet, he he, whoever obeys Prophet Muhammad, he obeys Allah. Because Prophet Muhammad does not speak of in of his yeah. own desire. Exactly. So let me give you another verse. I didn't finish. No, let me finish. I didn't finish the verse. Wait, wait. Allah said in the Quran, chapter 24, verse 62. Do you know what Allah said? Allah said, let them be careful. Those who dispute, yeah, who dispute, go against the command of Prophet Muhammad. So the Quran is the command of Allah, is Allah's speech, Allah speaking. Yes. So Allah says do this and do not do, do this. But Allah is telling us in the Quran, we, if we oppose the command of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, we will go to hell. How can we get the command of Allah, of Prophet Muhammad? It's not in the Quran, because the Quran is the command of, Prophet, of Allah, the yes. speech of Allah. So Allah is telling us, if we, dis if we oppose the command of the Prophet, we go to hell. Allah will punish us. Yeah. So how can we, where can we get the command of Prophet? In the teaching of Prophet, the answer all, is there. Hadith, yeah. Yes, so the hadith is approved by Allah. Yeah. The teaching of Prophet. So anyone who rejects the teaching of Prophet is not a Muslim. Because you're rejecting the verses of the Quran. Clear. Yeah. Clear cut. Why is it not one of the five? Um, uh, what do you mean? Is it one of the five uh, pillars of Islam? What are the five pillars? Like, like, like following the, the five pillars of Islam. How do you know the five pillars of Islam? It's through, through from the hadith, right? Okay, yeah. hadith. Yeah. So, uh, okay, the hadith is what uh, is the hadith not the teacher of Prophet Muhammad? It is, but like, thank you. No, so, no, but, but they say you have to follow like everything that, you, that you're doing, the same way you're doing it. No, let me explain to you. You know, the way you pray, for no, example, let me explain to you. All that stuff. We in Islam, prophets, we count sunnah. Do you know sunnah? There's obligatory, yeah. must, compulsory, yeah, and there's sunnah. Sunnah means if you do it, you get reward by Allah, but if you don't do it, yeah. You don't get reward and you don't get punished. So it's not obligatory. Like example, praying night <laughs> prayer yeah. is the best option to pray. Prophet because prayed. So the action of prophet, unless there's another evidence which tells us is must to do the action of prophet, then is must. But if there's no another evidence tells us the action of prophet is must, then that action becomes sunnah. Sunnah means you have option. Yeah. But compulsory. Is like prayer, praying five times a day. It's compulsory because Allah is asking us to pray and also Prophet is telling us. So Quran now, no, wait. The most no, no, let me come. Yes, yes. Five times. Yes, let me come. Only four times are mentioned. No, let me come. No, Quran doesn't talk about. It talks about times of prayer. No, no, it doesn't talk rises, about. Yes. Sun settles. Yes. Sun sets. And yes. The no, it talks about times. praying the times. No, no, it's five. Okay. That's according to you. Uh, that's why it's five. Who is the teacher of the Quran now again? Of the Quran. Allah approved you as a uh, uh, being a teacher of the Quran on uh, Islam. I, 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 Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad so yes. thank you. Did Prophet pray four or three? Uh, Prophet pray, uh, used to pray fifty. And then no, he, no, he right, prayed that's five. That's why he said in the hadith. No, no, it was fifty before he pr started praying. Yeah. That was the first his night journey. What was that? His night journey when he went to the heaven. Oh, okay, okay. So, so that time he never prayed 50. After then Allah reduced and decreased the prayer times into five times. So now we pray five times. And that's obligatory. And yes, obligatory. Yeah. Because I cannot have my own opinion, my own option, if Allah says and Prophet says. We are not saying, and if you disobey Prophet Muhammad, and you disobey Allah, yeah. that means and Prophet Muhammad is Allah, like Christians say or non-Muslims. Yeah. Because Allah said in the Quran, chapter 53, verse 2 to 4, Allah says, Prophet Muhammad does not speak, peace be upon him. He peace be upon him. He does not speak of his own desire, but it's what Allah inspired him. But is it, is it, isn't God talking about Muhammad speaking about the Quran reciting when he was reciting the Quran? Angel Jibril right? was teaching him. Yeah, Jibril was teaching him the Quran. Yes. So isn't that what God's referring to? He, whenever Muhammad speaks like according to the Quran when, he, when he's reciting the Quran when he's reciting the, the, the recitation the Quran is the words of Allah yeah that's what God's is the speech of Allah that isn't his desire he's the author yeah yes also Allah is telling about Islam when he talks about Islam Prophet Muhammad yeah. like the future how can Prophet know the future did Allah tell Prophet Muhammad everything that is going to happen in the Quran no through inspiration the angel Jibril used to come to him like example now 
Prophet Sallallahu told us about prophecies. Many of them. Yeah, I know. Yes. Like now, Prophet said, Uthman is going to be killed, assassinated. Yes? Yeah. And that happened. Did Allah tell us in the Quran that? No. No. Then Prophet, how did he know then? Because it's not fundamental. Okay, how did he know? He yeah. was inspired. Yeah, he had prophecies. I don't reject that. So that means we have mean, to believe the teaching of Prophet you know, the Muhammad. Messiah too, the Messiah is not, uh, the Messiah, is the Jaff. Yes. He's not mentioned in the Quran, but I believe he is coming for the for the Allah. in, for in the, the hadith. Yes. Jacob. It's not mentioned in the Quran though. No. That, TV, no. That, do that you know? Do you know one thing? Let me ask you. Let me tell you one thing. If he doesn't mention in the Quran, it doesn't mean we don't have to practice. If the Prophet did, or he approved, or he said, yeah, we practice, do what's best, and we believe. Yeah, but th but there isn't a verse. So now let me tell you. It says you go to hell. One time. Or that you are. One time. You're not a Muslim. This yes. Is a yes. Yes. If you reject the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, you're not a Muslim. Not not rejected. Yes. Anyone who rejects the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, not just Quran. Yeah, not anyone who rejects rejected. the teaching. If you, if you believe what he's doing is completely wrong, then that that's that's you completely going against. No. The what if you reject the teaching of Prophet Muhammad? If, if you don't perform it, it doesn't mean you don't reject it. I'm saying, Allah approved the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Allah approved the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, he did. Yes. Example now. Allah told us in chapter 58, the last verse, chapter 22. Not 22, sorry, chapter verse 1. Allah was talking about a woman who came to the Prophet. And Allah said, Allah heard the voice, the words of that woman. Yeah. But Allah never told us what was the incident about. If we say we only follow the Quran and not the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, and you say Quran is enough, so how can yes, Quran is enough? How by following the procedure of Allah, uh, the procedure, the way of Islam, because Allah told us in the Quran how to follow Islam. And he also told you how to go to heaven. That's yes, the most he told us how to follow Islam. How do we follow Islam? Through, how do you follow Islam? Quran number one. Quran, Allah approved the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Yes, he did. The teaching of Prophet, Hadith, he approved. I give you many verses, I said to you. Like example, Allah said, if we dispute about a matter, we go back to Allah and the Prophet. So the uh, if we go to back to Allah, is Allah is referring to the Quran, yes? Yeah. But if we are going back to the Prophet, where we go? Uh, the teaching, the so, hadith. So you, you see now, chapter 4, verse 59. Quran is enough. You said it's not enough. No, I'm not saying that. No, no, no. I'm saying no, no. Quran. Allah said in the Quran. Yeah. He told us the procedure how to follow Islam in the Quran. Yeah. How? Because of the Quran. Quran and the teaching of the Prophet in the Quran. Allah told us. So do we have to follow Islam this way? Quran, the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, and the consensus, the scholars, the Muslims. Allah said in chapter four. Verse and uh, 115, Allah said, So if you follow another path, different path than the Muslims' way, Allah said, Allah said, That person will turn to what he turned away, and Allah will put him in the hellfire. Yeah, that's anyone. Why? Why? Because of going against the Muslims, the consensus of the, Muslims, the believers. Yeah. So what Muslims agree, and you go another way, you take another path, what Muslims agree? Uh, no. The teaching of Prophet yeah, Muhammad, exactly, yeah. the Quran. So about Islam, generally the teacher of Islam is Prophet Muhammad. That's why Allah sent him. Yeah. He entrusted him to convey so the message. He's the teacher and, and you're the student. I'm the student. But the teacher of Prophet Muhammad is God. Is Allah we know, yeah. but through Angel Jibril. Allah sent Angel Jibril to teach you yeah. the Quran who? Prophet and Prophet yeah. is our teacher, yes. so that's how we got the message. So, do you understand now? Yeah, I understand. So, that. is that clear now? Yes, so, anyways, okay, yeah, yeah, yes, thank you so much. I guess, uh, I anyways, you, right? no, don't let people confuse you, brother. I think you sound like an Quranist, huh? Quranist? yes, no, I'm not a Quranist. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't reject hadiths, I don't reject all that. Okay, so what I'm stops you? What doubt? What make what made you doubt what, and about Islam, brother? The way. Um, Tell some, me. some Muslims like would act, you know, like uh, the, the way that you pray, the, how much importance they put into into the way you pray rather than what the prayer is for. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. 
So right. it, it felt like the prayer wasn't actually like performed for the reason it's supposed to be performed for, like to return to God. Okay, hold on. No. Second, brother, tell me the prayer, what, what made you think that. Um, so you said that because of some uh, the actions of people, some Muslims. People go to hell even even no. pray. Even are you are you saying because of? Do you know in Islam, everyone who die as a Muslim, in Judgment Day. He will end up in heaven. Yeah, but what do, in what, paradise. What do you define as a Muslim? No, in a paradise. Finds peace by no, submitting his I will know. To God. No, we say Jesus in. Submitted his will to God. No, I know. We Muslims, we believe if a Muslim die while committing sins, depends on Allah. If he dies, I cannot judge him. I cannot say this person Allah will punish him or this person will go to hell. If I say that, I'm judging Allah and I'm judging the future. Yeah. So any Muslim who commits sins, it's him. Between him and Allah. Yeah. In judgment day, if Allah wants, He will punish him. But in the end, He will take him. He will t take him to heaven. If Allah, if Allah wants, He will forgive him. Because Allah said in the Quran, chapter four, Allah forgives all the sins in judgment day. Yeah. Except if you associate others with Him, He will not forgive you. So say partner. Yeah. Yes. If you associate others with Allah, so He will Christians not forgive you. So now. I'm saying to you, forget about what Muslims do. Islam is about its teaching. Do not worry about what Muslims do, some Muslims. Because did Allah say practice Islam according to what Muslims, some Muslims do? No, we, the way or, or it's according to its teaching. its teaching? Yes, according to the way Allah told us in the Quran and the Prophet told us in his teaching. Yes? Yeah. So forget about whatever they do. I'm not saying all Muslims are perfect. We are sinners. All humans are sinners. Yeah. But the best one Prophet said is the one who repents from his yes, yes, sin. sin. Yeah. See? So now what I would suggest, forget about what other Muslims do. Please come back to Islam. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, brother, trust me. Hmm? Forget about what they do. Because Allah said he will not judge you according to their deeds. He will judge you according to your deeds. Yeah. All you need to do is, brother, yeah. accept Islam. Practice Quran and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. I'll, I'll do that, but but but, but 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 do you accept the Torah or not? Torah. Yeah. Because the Quran says you have to accept the Torah. Depends. You know we need context. What Torah? The Book of Moses. No. What Torah? The Moses one, or you want the the one Moses wrote, or the one Allah is the author? The one Moses wrote. No, the one Moses wrote is not the Allah. How? Do you know in Islam? What? Yeah. Do you know in Islam? Torah came from Allah. He's the author. It came from, from Allah through yes. Moses. Of, of yeah, course. But it's not Moses' right road. You think God no, wrote it? No, in the Quran. No, God, in the, the no, 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 no. In the Torah. No, in the Quran, Moses received the Torah from Allah while it was written complete. You get the point now? Wait. The difference is they believe Moses wrote down the Torah. We don't believe this. Wait. How can how can someone write down about his death? Moses wrote down about his death. Yeah, because he was a prophet. He knew what would happen after he died. No, he do you, do you know what I'm saying? After my death, right? Wait. He, he wrote, he, it's cold, man. Uh, sorry, brother. Didn't he write about what would happen after it's he dies? very cold. He's a prophet? Say again? Didn't he write what, what would happen after he dies because he's a prophet himself? No, he, he I'm saying I'm saying the difference between Torah of Islam, or in Islam and the Torah, the one they have, is different. The Torah we believe Allah has sent down. Moses received in chapter 7, verse 54. Yeah. Moses received. I if you read verse 54, I mean 154, I think, yes? Yeah. If you read from verse 54 all the way to 157, no, yeah. and 154 all the way to 157, yeah. you find out Moses received the Torah from Allah and it was complete. So not Moses, the one, is Moses is not the one who wrote down. There is God. Are you getting that? Yeah, I get it. He received the so, author is like Quran. The author of Torah is Allah. Okay, yeah. We, That's what I believe. Okay, but, but it doesn't make a difference because no, no. You, look, you, look. you don't reject it, okay, right? Wait, wait, wait. So you believe it's preserved? No, no, no that one is not preserved. It's not preserved. Do you know why? It's changed. Why? Do you know why? What's your because evidence? even in Torah, it says some books are missing. Where? Yes. Where, where does it say that? Numbers chapters and fourteen verse twenty one. It says the book of the wars of the Lord is missing. Where is that book? Chapter 14, Numbers 14, 21? 14, 21. 14, 21. Read. Just click on it. Says the truth as I live the earth shall. Yes. 
It's not 21. No, wait. Wait, I'll show you. What is this? Is it another chapter? Is it numbers, this? Yes, that's the local number. And what shall I the life and the earth shall be with the glory of the Lord? No, sorry, it's 2114. Sorry, brother. We don't have, don't we have the Torah anymore? No, right, right, 21. Also, Joshua chapter 10, verse 13. The book of Joshua is missing from the Old Testament. See? But don't the says, says that it's the Yes. I, I mean, it would make sense if it was corrupt. Because Let's see. How old is the book? It's no, no, no. Do you see now? I, I didn't see it. I'm not get it back. Let me show you. My hands are freezing. I can't show you, brother. Game, wait, wait. I'll show you. As the hub? It doesn't say it. No, I'll show you. Wait, wait, okay. wait. What you say? Maybe the, the one you're using. The says because you must believe in it. But God clearly, clearly tells you to believe I'll show you, wait, brother. The, the translation, the one you're using, is not accurate. In the Quran, it, it says that believe in the yeah. word it says that. No, I will show it to him. No, I want to tell him the context. Unless you're referring to the old, the, the original book, because we don't have it anymore. No, but okay. The, the current so here, okay, let's go. Religion. The current Torah doesn't have any verse against your religion. Who says who? Does it? What, according to what? Does it? What's your criteria? It predicts the Messiah. The Messiah is Jesus Christ. And you believe uh, Jesus, son of Mary, is yeah. the Messiah. We can take some, some verses or and some stuff one. if it's uh, according or similar to the Quran within the context. But it's, it's different. Me, if it's different to the Quran, we don't take but, it yeah. because it has been corrupted. The Quran says that. But, okay. But what's also, no, wait, wait, brother. Sorry, sorry. Also, Joshua chapter 10, verse 13. You can go that one. As I said before, Joshua, Joshua the freedom. book of Joshua is missing from the Bible, from Old Testament. Yeah. Wait, do you think nothing is missing from the Quran? Uh oh, Quran, nothing is missing. Uh, not a single missing chapter. There's a hadith that mentions the missing chapter. No, what chapters? Tell me. I'll explain to you. The book of the. <laughs> yeah, I'll find out. That's inevitable, but the book itself is preserved. Torah. Okay, wait. They preserve it, it's close. Bible. You can't say it's missing when you don't have something. Uh, yeah, it's here. But I don't understand what, which one do you have? Well, it's here. Numbers 21 14. Yours is saying another meaning. You confuse me, brother. Look here. What? Look here. That is why, because you confuse me, it's the correct verse I give you. Oh, it's probably because it's the new international version. No, I'm not sure where you can, no, where weird. you went. This is new international version. That's, that's weird. This is why the book of the wars of the Lord says, where is that book then? Book of the Lord of the Wars? Yes, where is that book? It's missing from the Old Testament. Where is that book? I don't, I don't know what that book is. Where is it then? Oh, no. It was supposed to be. Also, Joshua chapter 10 verse 13. Yeah. Also, the book of the, um, the Act of Solomon. That's also, also the book and um, chapter and one Kings chapter eleven verse four to one. Yeah. Also the book of the seer and Samuel the God and the seer and the God and uh, Nathan of the prophet. One Chronicles chapter and uh, twenty nine verse twenty nine. Also the book of Shemaiah chapter and uh, twelve verse fifteen. And and when two Chronicles chapter fifteen verse twelve. What did they say? And 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 uh, chapter twelve verse fifteen. What that the two Chronicles the book of uh, Jeho. Chapter two, two and two Chronicles, chapter twenty, verse thirty and thirty-four. Uh, all these are missing. Oh, these yeah. books, where are they? Missing. Where are they? Also in New Old Test New <laughs> Testament, New Testament, some verses are missing. Some verses are missing in the Quran as well. No, no, Quran, show me. I will I accept mean, it. No, wait, wait, wait. Accept oh, the challenge. Should, should there be no, accept the challenge. Show uh, me. Explain why the, the ninth chapter of the Quran starts without doesn't start without the uh, in the name of the Lord. That that right? is not a chapter. That's not a verse. Do you know Bismillah Rahman Rahim? Yeah, I know it's not a verse, but like, but so why, why does it? Yes, not, why because it not with it? because the verse starts with about and um, being against the kuffar of idol worshippers. Yeah, that the Allah was telling them to not come and and perform Hajj pilgrimage no, after said, this year. You understand the problem? Yes, it's classified as a chapter, but every other chapter in the entire Quran starts with the same thing. No, Bismillah Rahman. Do you yeah. know why? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim because other verses Allah is not starting with refuting and debunking and rejecting the kuffar so, idol so worshippers to not you get it because normally in Arabs when they talking about fight or whatever or yeah. being against one another they don't use Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim ah. do you understand now? so uh, out of respect yes so but it's the word of God still yes and God has to let you know so Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is not a verse 
all the chapters if you go only surah fatiha the chapter one chapter one only bismillah rahman rahim because quran has seven dialects one of his dialects bismillah rahman rahim is not a part of surah fatiha bismillah rahman rahim is to indicate that we starting a new chapter you understand that? Right, so what, what did he still classify as a chapter then? What do you mean? Chapter number nine. The one that's yeah, chapter without, nine. Without yes. On in the Quran. It's called Surah Tawbah. Yeah, why is it classified as a chapter yes, then? Surah Tawbah. You said that Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim yes. is used to. No, start I said chapter. that chapter yeah. has got an exception because it's talking about, about telling the idol worshippers that this year is their final year. They cannot come to Hajj pilgrimage. Yeah. They are forbidden. Even they used to come and perform Hajj pilgrimage while they were naked. So Prophet said from now on no one can come to the Hajj pilgrimage if you're not a Muslim. Because that is when Muslims took over the yeah. Makkah. Yeah. Yeah. So they understand that. There is no there is no single verse is missing from the Quran. It's the only book that yeah. human being can memorize even if you do not speak its language. Imagine. If I write now a book in Chinese, 10 pages, would you memorize? No. Can you? No, no. But imagine Africans. Are they Arab? <laughs> no. But they memorize the whole Quran. Yeah. Why? They don't even know Arabic. Imagine they read. Yeah. yeah. Is that not a miracle? Yes. If you take the Quran now, take away from us, the five year old, six year old of Muslims will rewrite that, the Quran. A lot, a lot of uh, Yids yid also memorize the Torah. No. no. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. It's just few chapters, not all of it. Really? Ask, yes. What? Not even chapters, few verses. What about? Uh, they cannot read the in hem? order. No, they cannot read in order from the beginning to the end, as we do. Five year old, that's they the can't, Muslim. They, the whole they can't, they can't. These are the missing chapters. No, they can't even because it's, it's miracle. Now, okay, Hebrews, he knows the language. But now, do you speak Hebrew? No. Hebrew no, no, language? No. 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 If I get the Torah for you in Hebrew language, would you memorize? No. But why non-Arabic speakers, they read the Quran of their heart without looking even, they write down. Why? It's a miracle. Yeah. Itself is a miracle. Imagine you don't know how to speak Arabic and you don't understand and you don't know how to read even sometimes from the kitab, the, the from the book. people actually memorize the, the entire Quran, the whole thing? Yes, I'm one of them. You are? Yes. What's chapter number? Uh, 19 verse number 21. 19? Verse what? 21. 21. 19, you say in Surah chapter Maryam. You say yes. 19 is. Uh, <laughs> I think. Where is that in English? Um, I'm a messenger. Yeah, of Allah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, it's not, it's not that. No, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. You read Arabic? Uh, no. That's 20. Uh, I'm yeah, that's 20. Oh, let me show you. 21. Yes, you asked 21. Sorry, I thought uh, you said 20. 20. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's the other verse. Uh, let's see. Where is it in English? Because 16 is what you put in the Quran and you can put it in the Quran. 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 You can put it in That's the 21 then, brother. Let me show you. It's here. Sorry. Look on I know it's about Maryam, Mary and Isa. Oh, that, that's 30. Yeah, 30. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Last one here, brother. I'm going to conclude anyways. Yeah. 23. Yeah, it's قَالَ كَذَلِكِ قَالَ رَبُّكِ هُوَ عَلَيَّ هَيِّنُ 21. So it will be your Lord says it is easy for me, and so we will make him a sign for humanity and mercy. It's amazing. MashaAllah. See now? I thought, was, but I thought you said twenty, so I I, I, I was reciting <laughs> the other verses. Yeah, because sixteen is what could fill kitab Maryam. Seventeen is the other verse. What yeah. takhadat? And then قالت إن ما أنا إن إن يعوذ بالرحمن منك إن كنت تقيا. Then قال إن ما أنا رسول ربك إلى هذا الغلام زكية. And then قال أنا ربي أنا يكون قال أنا يكون لي غلام. That's twenty. How long do you think you memorize the whole Quran? I read every day because if I don't read every day. You will forget probably. Yeah.
very important. Yeah, you forget. Uh, uh, you know people who, who no one's ever memorized the Bible, right? No, no. Why, why do people not read it in classical format? No, they can't. Do you, well, yeah, why the, like, you know how the new ones in Koine Greek? Say again. The, the, new, the new Bible. Huh? Say again. There's a new update of the Bible. Yeah, so now, so now, even the New Testament is abrogated. Do you know why? Why? I can give you many verses. Example. Yeah. And Matthew chapter 17, verse 21, in some versions, many, many, many of the versions of the Bible, that verse is missing. You only find that verse in King James Version. Why? This verse is missing. Yes, 17, 21. Wow. It's corrupted. Yes, so that's why I said, so how can I believe that one to be Torah and Injil? It's not. The Bible itself, you know what it says? Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8 why are you saying we have the words of God when your own teachers yeah. write down the scriptures no. with their own hands it's, all, it's, like it's corrupted you can't believe that all of it is corrupt no I don't believe all of it is corrupted no I don't believe all of it is corrupted but I'm saying I would rely Old Testament the New Testament New Testament 90 98% is wrong yeah, about Jesus, right? Yeah, it's wrong. 98%. It's just, even it's contradicting itself. What makes Christians Jesus, Jesus, God? Because, uh, Jesus never because said no, because Paul himself approved people to lie about Jesus. In the Bible, I can give you yeah. Philippians chapter 1, verse 18. Do you know what he said? Open, read last verse, then I'm going. I was wondering why you, how you can ask if there's someone is missing from the Quran or not be able to have something authentic to compare it with. Yeah, no, so no. Which verse? And, uh, and Sorry, Philippians chapter 1, verse 18. But what does it say? What then, notwithstanding every way, yes. repentance for peace? You see? Read. He right. said, What does it matter whether from false motives or true motives? Christ must be preached. And he said, because of this, I rejoice and I will keep rejoice. He's going to rejoice because of what? Lying about Jesus, preaching Jesus from, whether from false motives or true motives. So it's based on lies. And do you know what Psalm said? The book of Psalm, my favorite verse of Old Testament about Psalm. Do you know what is it? It says, <coughs> Psalm chapter 11, verse three. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? What's the verse for it? Psalm chapter 11 verse 3. So they're forced to believe. Yes. This belief system. Yes. It's, it's corrupt. And Jesus didn't say once he's God. No. Not once? No. So when he said, I and the Father are this one. This verse is, even he said him and his disciples all are one. Yeah. So according to Christians, the disciples should be God because Jesus glorified his disciples. Yeah. He gave glory glory to his disciples. What, what about before Abraham? Was I am? Satan also was there before Abraham. He's Satan God. And before Abraham I am, Jesus <laughs> is not talking about himself. Read the, the chapter 8, verse 26 and 29 and 44. You know what they say? John said Jesus was talking about the Father. But they did not understand him. Yeah, I know. I know Jesus used to pray with his head down on the ground. Satan was there before us. Is Satan God? Oh, exactly. Wait. Well, Satan was before Abraham. Yes, is Satan God then? Let's say for the sake of argument. Yeah, yeah. Is Satan God? Anyways, brother, see you. You ever said that I am God? Yeah, anyways. Yeah. Uh, it was great talking to you. Yeah, talking to yeah. you. Jesus of Christians became God at the age of 30. Yeah, Jesus became. Why not at the age of 5? Jesus so he was walking born. around Jesus. Yeah, he was normal. He was. He was normal. Everything. No God. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so <laughs> you tell me, at the age of his mother, his yeah. mother never called him God, never worshipped him, yeah. even after he claimed God. So the mother knows yeah. better than, better than, yeah. According to Christians, Mary will go to hell because she didn't practice Christianity. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's what they say now. Okay, anyways, Jesus himself, the man, he was not a Christian. He was a Jew, man. He practiced Judaism. So let's say, which religion is correct, Christianity or Judaism? Judaism. So that means Christianity is wrong, then. I know Christianity. Because all prophets practice according to Christians, what? Yeah. Judaism. It's all teachings of Paul and, and the church. Yeah, I just told you. Yeah, I agree. With you. Yeah, if the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Anyway, see it, brother. Brother, please. Yeah. Yeah. Please, brother.
be careful. Don't be blinded by others. Yeah. Please come back. I'll keep you. I'll come yeah, back. Yeah, please, brother. In Islam, if you come here every Sunday. Yeah, in Islam, you need to accept, enter the Islamic religion fully, complete. Yeah. You can't be half Muslim and half Christians, half Christian and half. You don't devote your whole life. No, there. brother. Yes, in Islam, you have to enter the religion. Yeah. All, please, brother. Think, go back to Allah and repent. Allah will forgive you. Allah said, as long you come and ask me for forgiveness, I will forgive you. No matter how your sins are. Yes. Even if it's like the ocean, the form of the ocean, Allah will forgive you. Allah forgives all the sins as long you repent as long as before you die. Also, shirk, shirk. Yes, even shirk. Before you die, if you repent, Allah will forgive. But once you die in judgment day, Allah will not forgive shirk. You're gone for that. Then. Yes, you're gone for that. Please, brother, come back sure. to Allah, yeah? Uh, you have a nice night. Yes, brother. Okay. Stay safe. See you next right. time, yeah, brother? You. Hopefully, see you, to see you yeah, next week, yeah? Inshallah. Thank you, brother. Yes, we'll see you. Nice. Good nice time. And don't care about what Muslim, other some Muslims do. Yeah, sure. Islam is about its teaching, not what... It's about you and God. Yeah, it's between you and God. You, your job is what? To worship Allah, to believe in Him, to not associate anything with Him, and, and practice the Quran and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad according to the according to his companions, the way they understood the religion. Correct. And the first generation, second generation, and the third generation. Yes, sure. Bye. Brother. Take care. Bye, brother. Bye, bye, brother. Salaam This is yours. Yeah, the water is mine. I'm freezing. Oh, I can't even remove. <laughs> Sam, 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 how do you stop it? How do you stop this one? Is that correct? I stopped it.